guys and welcome to my channel FWA4. In this video we are going to be putting the DeLorean back together. So it's been a long time since we have had this thing apart and we've done all the modifications that we need to do. I know a lot of people uh, are not able to be able to build this because of the situation with Eagle Moss at the moment but I think have faith guys I'm pretty sure everything will be okay and it'll work out in the end. In the last video, we did tear down and we installed the EL cables. So we never got any further than that. The DeLorean has been sitting for quite a while. I'm just gonna pop her out of the way. We have all the mods that we could possibly have on this. The only thing that is a bit of a downside to this, I found, is very sort of like um, misplaced pieces are feeling really bumpy, almost like rust is, is forming. I mean, it's been in the YouTube room, which has been pretty, you know, um, the temperatures fluctuate now and then. I don't know if you can see it, maybe on the bonnet mainly, there is sort of really lumpy sort of rust spots all over the whole car where the metal is. So I don't know whether we need to get this into a case or whether the rust spots are set in. But you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and build it up and then hopefully be able to store it somewhere where it will stay nice and clean. But uh, replacing these parts are gonna be impossible as you know because of the situation with Eagle Moss at the moment. So we are stuck at that stage. Right, so the next thing we need to do on this before we start to put it back together I should have taped everything in place so it doesn't break and I have my sponge underneath these lights at the front here which is number 19 are the ones that would power the front lights for the stage on the the lights the the blue lights that go around the light bands we don't need those now because we have lovely Chloe Powers ones, so from Modern Mods. So we don't need that. So that's number 19, and we don't need that at all. So that can come up, because the connection from that is used for something else. So we just need to pop that out of the way. So now that's removed, we just need to make sure all the cables are still in place. They're still all sticking out where we want them to, which seems fine. Yeah, all good. Make sure the ones at the front are gonna be sticking out nicely. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting it back together. And as you can see here, these are the lights that go along the top. But we are not going to be needing those anymore. We will be taping those up out of the way because we won't be needing those. But yeah, so we need to make sure that all the cables on the front are coming through, which they are. That's fine. The bonnet lifts up that way. So we've got number six sticking out the front. Everything seems to be good to go. First thing we need to do is we need to now connect all these cables up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring the, the model side by side so that we can do the connections. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Just gonna tilt it there and put it here. So this is the EL cable there. So that just needs to sit on there for now. That's gonna be going through at the front in a moment. And then we have a connection here as well. And then we have all these little connections here, which are gonna to have to be put back into this. So what I need to do, is I need to take the model, I just need to tilt it on its side carefully, like so, get it as close as we possibly can. And then we need to leave it like that. And then we need to start connecting these cables into these cables. But what I'll do is I'll connect all these up and then I'll bring you over so you can see where we are connecting them and then show you where we can go from there, all right? Right guys, as you can see, the model is up on its side here and all you need to do is connect all of those cables there. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. They are numbered and they go in color sequence. So just make sure you get that bit right. We'll just come over the other side here. There is one piece that needs to come through and that is that cable there. So that's the blue and or the black and red cable should I say that just goes through there put a bit of tape on so it doesn't fall back through that hole but if we go underneath you can kind of see back there where it goes through just sort of to the right of the seat belt hanging down you can see it goes up through there so that's all you need to do is connect those and that's the only thing you need to worry about make sure that the EL cables come down at the back there out of the way and that the front one that's sitting down here just make sure 
that that one there is just tucked down up the way. Right guys, we're back round this way again. So what I've done here is I've just put the EL cable just through the side here, just through the side part in here, but it's gonna be quite hard to show you. This cable here, these need to make sure they go through these holes here and then these ones here also need to go through the hole that's down there as well. There are a couple that need to go in the corner here as well. So we just need to be careful and just make sure we don't snag any of these when we are trying to put it together. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna make sure that all these cables are tucked nicely out of the way and that they're not gonna get caught up on anything and that they're not gonna snag. And then we're gonna slowly lift this half onto the DeLorean. I think last time it was sort of back to the front. I'm gonna hover it there while I try and grab these cables in the corner. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I will show you as soon as it is done. Okay, that's fine. Pretty sure this is how it went on last time. So we had to do the back and then slide the front down. Like that. And then here you can see now that the EL cable is coming out the side there. Looks like it might have unplugged itself, so we will need to just address that. This is why I said you just gotta be careful and take your time. So what we're gonna do is just gonna lift this up just to see what's going on underneath. So the cable is here and there. So we just need to make sure that that's plugged in. I guess we could probably take it through. I don't know if it'll go all the way through, just to there, just so we can plug it in. So what we need here is to plug this section in there Make sure they don't come apart again. So it must have just got caught as it was going in, which is fine. So that's plugged back into there. And these ones here, they will need to go through there. And then there's one here that needs to go through there. So we're gonna just poke that through there, like so. Make sure that that goes in there. There we go. And then, then as we go down, these ones need to come through here and we need to make sure we don't snag that other one again. You do get tweezers to do this if you need them. There we go. So let's go down. Looks like that's plugged in there fine. The back's on good and I think the front is also on okay as well. What we'll do is we'll just put some tape on these just to keep these in place. We're just gonna go check round because this is gonna be the EL cable now. What we we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab the bits we need and then do a test because we wanna make sure that all of this is working before we go any further because the worst thing is that we've now put the body on and then none of it works. So we wanna go get things, we've got everything in here, we're just gonna get them out test that the working and then we can carry on so we're gonna do that now all right guys so we've now plugged in the front bumper so we have number eight and number 12 at the front here number six goes into itself there and then it tucks back into the vehicle there we have the rear bumper connected here so we have number six there and then we have number 11 there so that connects the rear bumper and then the top section here has now been connected here so you make sure that these are connected in there and then that will light up that ring in the top here. And then we've got the interior light on. We will flick it on here, but you probably won't be able to see much, but you probably can see it go from red to green. So there's red inside the car and then it goes to green when it's on and it is all lit up. But we'll turn the lights off and then we'll come and have a look at that a bit closer so you can see that that's all lit up and it's working as it should. It's a little bit dark, but I have now plugged everything in. So we have got the front bumper plugged in, just there. 
we've got the back top piece plugged in for the light around there we've got the rear bumper plugged in and we've just got the one single light on in there as well so it's plugged in because we have the modification for model mods to do the power mod so it's powered by electricity which is this cable just here so what we need to do is press all on and hopefully everything will turn on there we go so we have the interior is lit up, the Christmas trees go in, the flux is going, the lights on the front are working fine. Um, we've got the EL cables glowing how they should. The back lights are all working. I don't know if you can see them there, but they're all working. And then we've got the EL cable that side. We've got the glow on the top. These ones are not going to be seen. So there we go. So everything is working as it should. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go around and have an up close look of where we've plugged everything in and how everything is going. Uh, we'll do that as well. But for now, there we have it. So absolutely perfect. It's all working as it should. So this side, as you can see here, the cable is lovely. We've got the Christmas tree in there going really nicely, going up as it should. If it focuses, and let it do its complete sequence. There it goes, and there you go. It's going up and then it gets to the red. Perfect. Right, so on the back, we've just plugged in the back section here. You can see the glow from the EL cable is absolutely beautiful. There is the light for the inside to the, the boot, and then the light is glowing for the top as well, which is perfect. So I'll see if I can quickly show you that as well. Give me one second. So that's the light there. So the lights on top here, they're going to be void because we're not going to see those. They're going to be hidden. We can't take those out, so that's fine because we'd have to take quite a lot off. And there you go. So everything's plugged in. The rear lights as well are there. I don't know if we can test the brake light. We probably should do that just to make sure that that's working as well. So we'll test that too. Okay, so we now have the brake light. That's just being pushed down, so that glows really well. So everything is working as it should. So now we can go ahead and continue to put the model back together. Right guys, once you have got the top added to the bottom, you need to flip it upside down. Again, please don't put it on something hard. I've got some foam here, or you can use a towel as long as you like roll it up quite thick. So what we need to do is we now need to pop in the main supporting screw. So I've managed to find the trusty instructions here of putting the chassis uh, against the body, which is just there, as you can see. And it says that we need the RM screws. Thank God I bagged everything up when I was doing it and I've got them all here. So they're all here. So I need to just go pop them in. So there's two that go down here, two that go in here, one here and one there. So two at the front, two at the sides. Once we've done that, we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, now that the model is now together, we just need to flip it up. You just need to be extremely careful not to damage it in any way. Get it on its side. And I tend to get it from the back and then flip it over like that. And then we can now start building her back together. Now that we know everything is in place, all we need to do now is start constructing. So we need to kind of do it in the reverse of how we did it in the first place. So now that the body is in place, we just need to make sure that all the alignments are okay and that everything is working, that the doors lift and there's no snag marks, which is absolutely fine. So we're good there. And then the same on this side, just remove the tape like so and then make sure the doors lift and then make sure they click back into place. Okay guys, Should now it? that the model is this way up, we are gonna put on the bottom skirts here. So we just prize the doors up. I've just put a bit of um, small piece of wood underneath them. They do go up a bit higher than that, but I don't know what I've done with the blocks. I seem to have misplaced the plastic blocks that go underneath. So you just need a test fit to make sure that that's the right one and they should slide into there if it's right let's just see if it's not that side then just chest the other side so let's just say right or left on them so this one says left 
and this one says right. So this is the one to go on here. So you just need to line this up in here, get it in nicely. We'll just go over this and just make sure it fits flush. So once that's in place, you just need to pop the two screws on the inside and then you'll have the bottom skirt. So that's what it's like without the skirt and that is with the skirt. So we're gonna put the skirts on both sides first. We're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be back in just a sec. Guys, once you've screwed this piece down here into place and you have the two screws there, you did you used to stick these on, but obviously I made the magnet mod and then we just placed that over the top there. And now that bit is done. So we're gonna move on to the next section. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna just sort out the front bumper. So we're gonna turn the car around and we're gonna work from there. Right guys, we're now gonna connect the front bumper as I just mentioned. So what we need to do is just click these little tabs into place. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Just an indication of whether you've done them right. Make sure the colors are run the right way. So the white to the white, the red to the red. There we go, so that's in place. So we need to tuck those back into there. And then what we need to do is we need to make sure that this slides on properly. This is where a cocktail stick comes in handy because these are the cables here so they could just be pushed back out the way. And you can kind of move them down into the holes so they're not seen. Like that, make sure that all of the cables are all right. And then just line it up. And then once it's in place, like that, we now need to pop three screws in the front. Right guys, as you can see, the front is now on. So there's one, two, three screws here, holding that section in place. The next bit we need to take is this section. We need to push, we just need to make sure it's run the right way first. So it goes that way up. And then once you get it done, you need to push those little pieces, those little LEDs into the lights, like so, so that they're in. And then you need to make sure that they go back into that hole. As I said, cocktail stick always helps to push the cable in, in and it also doesn't damage it as well. Once you get the cables in there okay and lined up, you should be able to just push this back so it kind of sits in place nicely like so. And then you have four screws holding that section on. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around and stick those screws in place. We're now at the part where we need to install these side pieces here. So as you know that they just slot into there. We took them apart in sections so that they were easier to do. And we'll just quickly rest that on there so you can see. We will need to undo this top screw here, just real quick, just to release it from the housing. And as you can see now, that there is that piece here. So you need to take off these two screws out of here as well, which we'll do in a sec. But when it comes out of there, you just need to trail it around where it's gonna go. You can tape it into place, but that will loop into there, back round, and then the EL cable will go all the way back around there and then sit nicely back inside the box. So that's kind of what it wants it to do. So we're gonna go ahead and install it into there before we attach it back onto the body, just so you can see, and then we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, so just so you get an idea of how this works, as you can see, the cable was in there and then looped around like so. So it loops around like that and then it goes back through and then it just goes, I don't know if you can see that. Lift it around a bit. So then it loops back under here as a circle. So then when you put this on, you can line this up into place. And then these will channel through like that all the way across to the other side, nice and tight, like that. And then when you get to the other side, that will sit in place like that. And then there's a spread. So then the cable comes out of both sides like so. So I'm just gonna go pop those in there and then screw those onto the side like that. And then we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, now that that is in place and then you've put the screw into there, what you need to do is just line this section up here. 
We'll just pop that back on, push that in place. So that should push in nicely. There doesn't shouldn't be any glue needed to push these uh, connections in. There you go. And then you need to take your screw, screw that down. And then that section is now complete. So we've got both sides. I'll turn it around so you can see what we've done. So you can see the EL cable properly. Oh, there we go, it's a very heavy model. So it now comes through there, channels round, it loops inside there and then back round again. So that is all done. So what we need to do now is go grab the mesh and then we can mesh the front so that the front will be complete. Right guys, now we need to put the mesh section back into place. So this will just sit on here. It does look a bit of a state at the moment. That's because it's been out of the box for quite a while and been apart for some time. So they will push into that section there. And then we need to just go ahead and screw all these sections back together. So we'll go ahead and do that because there's quite a few little screws and we'll be back in just a sec. Now that we have now installed this piece, we can cover up the little section here with the little magnet mod that I made. So they should just go on to there, get it around the right way, like that. So that sits in place to cover up that screw. What we're going to do now, we're going to move on to the back and then we're going to install the back bumper and then we'll go from there. As you can see guys, we now have it around this way. This number 10 is only just to plug in here so it doesn't go anywhere so you can tuck that down out of the way just like that make sure that this doesn't come out because this is the light for the engine so make sure that that stays in place then we need to attach the rear bumper on here so we need to plug in number six to six on this side so go ahead and do that really fiddly but it's fine and then 11 to 11 let's turn it that way there you go and then once you've done that you can just tuck all that into place and then that sits in place once those are out of the way make sure they go down and tuck out the way just make sure it doesn't knock your light out there we go and then that should sit in there like that. Right guys, so it turns out that there should be three screws. So one in the middle, two here. I don't know what I've done with that screw there, but it is on pretty tight. So I'm going to just roll with that. Right, so the next one is this. As you can see, I've got my Passable license plate on. This is from uh, the incredible Mike Lane. So these are the Mike Lane mods. If you haven't got these already, please go pick some up because you will, uh, you know, this will just transform everything on your model right so then this delorean with the delorean this way up should just click over this and then this holds all of that into place so let's make sure we get it in right so that just clicks into there and then what we're going to do now is obviously we're finished on the back section for now so we're going to lift that up turn it around and then what we're going to do is we're going to work on here and we're going to work on the el wire going up to there so we'll go and do that now before we get onto this side section here, we need to install this rear piece. So this rear piece just goes up underneath here, but we cannot install that until we have removed this cable. So we do not need this one. So we're going to take that away. Eventually, we're going to replace these ties with the Mike Lane ones. So the Mike Lane cable ties, mini cable ties. Uh, you can get the white and black ones. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we'll be back in just back a second. section here, I want to just kind of show you how this works. So with the cable, you want to make sure that the EEL cable is looped around like this. This. and then what you need to do is on the back section here you need to make sure that the cable goes through the middle like this and sits there on the side there and then with this section here you want to make sure that that loops inside there and sits in there and then you can put the cover on just over the top of that and then when that cover is in place let's just pull that back a bit when that cover is in place, you just need to pop your little screw in. And I'll just give you an idea of what we're trying to achieve here. Just pop that in the top there. Screw that down. So now that is held into place. So there's kind of like a loop around like this. As you can see, it loops around like that. 
What well, I just turned upside down and show you this way. So we just had to put this section on here, two screws into there, and then two screws there. And then now we have our EL cable that we can now start to channel through here. So we're gonna just channel that through and then it's gonna to lead to the top. What we're gonna do, we're probably gonna tape it on the way so that we can keep it held in place. We will take the tape off afterwards, but what we're gonna do is gonna flip it around the other way. I just wanted to show you this side up just so you could get an idea of what it looks like this way up so you can see how it should look and how the el cables will come out look really really neat don't they so there you go just to give you an idea of how it should look i don't know why this tape isn't sticking very well uh, but this is holding it on here so you want to loop it up here like that and so you have the loop that side and then what we're going to do is we're going to be installing that onto there we need to feed the cable through this other side here so we're going to just remove the screws from this real quick so i can kind of show you what i mean so let's take that off there and then take that off there and I'll leave that screw on the end because I want to keep that. Take off the divider. And then this will sit over that. But we want to be able to feed that through there. So you can see that that needs to go through there like that. So that will just go through the middle of that section like that. And then it will be in place like that. You want to make sure it doesn't get snagged by any of the screws. So that will sit like that. And then we'll place the top over there. And then that will hold that into place. And then we'll flip it up over the other way. And then we'll screw it down. So I'm just gonna go do that. And then I'll show you what it will look like when it's done. So just give you an example. It needs to be sitting in there like that. And then when you spin it around this way, and then we can take this tape off here and it goes into there, you will see that it looks like it's coming out of that section and then what we can do is we can push some more in there we can pull it taut and then sort it all out so we'll go ahead and screw this one down and then what we'll do is we'll come back after we've taken all the tape off and then see what it looks like once it's all down now that that is screwed down in place we will sort all this bit out at the back here but we don't need to worry about that right now all you do need to do is you need to just channel these down and put them into place but as you do that the thing that's gonna hold it in is gonna be this bit. So what we need to do is we need to install that in here at the same time as channeling this cable into place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do that now. So we have a few screws missing where we took it apart before. We'll go pop those in and we'll be back to show you what it looks like in just a sec. Now all of those screws are in on this side. As you can see, it's channeled in behind here and it looks so much neater. You can't see it. But when we light this up, this is gonna look absolutely epic. We put the screw down in the top there on that section. We will need to go and install this one as well. So we need to do the same thing, but the other side of that just in there. We're gonna turn it around, do the other side, and then we're gonna have a look at it once it's done. Well right, guys, I just wanted to show you again just how it's done. So you just make sure that's looped through and held in the middle like so. And then when you turn it this way around, they will be straight. Yeah, so once you put that down into place, you need to line up the holes and there is a tab to line up as well. You just need to make sure that none of the cables are snagged and it's not going to be screwing into the EL cable. And once you're happy with the positioning and happy that it's in place, all you need to do is just move those to the side like that and then screw that down into place once that is all done and you're happy with the positioning of that obviously we still have to screw uh, these back into place here and put all these in but we'll worry about those later i've got my little magnets here and they just slot just in the top there just to finish the tops off where the screws used to go right guys you will need to install this section here underneath the el cable uh, on the other side you can still do it while it's on just this side you need to make sure you do it first it just slots into there and then pushes into those little hole tabs and then you can put the EEL cable over the top and then that will just push in afterwards we can do that from the back when we start to put all these bits in but you need to make sure that that's in first right now all of this is in place and the EEL cable is hidden up there really nice so what I'm going to do is just turn it around this way as you can see it goes down and under there and it just looks so neat 
Right, so on this side that, that came through here, there was two screws that held that section into place there. That is now done and into place, so that's really good. And what we need to do now is just have a look at these cables here and just pop them into their allocated areas. So they clip into these holes and then they push into there. Going to go ahead and do all that. But right, guys, we're now around to this side and what we're going to do is we need to install this section here. So that needs to go in through there, but it needs to go up here. So what I've done is undone two of the screws here and then that will allow me to just pop that underneath like so. And then I can kind of feed it in to there and then spin it around and then the little nib should be able to locate into its house there and then just the one behind there and then what I can do now is just push that back down screw those in and then we can deal with those and then this tubing here will come along later on so let's go and do that now Right guys that's now all into place i do need to put some of the mini cable ties by mike lane in there but we will do that at another stage right the next bit we need to put in is going to be this bit so what we need to do is just rest it against the car connect these little terminals together they're always lovely and fiddly once that's in place then we can lift this up this will sit underneath just push it right down a little bit and then this will sit in there and then as that sits in place these tubings go in to these sections here and then this side tubing goes onto there as well so what we'll do is we'll quickly go do that and then we'll come back in just a sec Right guys, all of these are now connected into the places that they should be. I managed to find these two pipes because I'm pretty sure they are missing. I know that on the inside of here there should be a pipe that was completely missing out of an episode and obviously, as you know, there was probably going to be no hope on getting that anytime soon without paying extortionate prices. But here we go. So I need to now build up these back flap sections. So that's now all plugged in and into place. What I need to do is you just need to grab these. They go into here. And that sits on there, kind of holds it to the car. Now with the back section into place, this kind of holds this all in so it doesn't move. As you can see, you can't lift it because it now is fused around the edge there. We are going to have to pop the rest of the bits on. We've got the uh, driver's side wing mirror. As you know, I made them a little bit dusty because they've been on the shelf a while. Magnetic, so they should literally just sit in place. I don't know whether that is the passenger side because it's the other way around. There we go. So that should just sit on there. Then the same for the other side. You should just better pop those into place. I'm doing this blind. Should be able to see. There we go. And then we have, last but not least, these have been sitting on my shelf for a very long time. We have the wipers. So I think we might have to lift this up to do it. But they should, hopefully, just pop into place like that. And like that. And those are the wipers. There we go. So guys, what we're going to do now is because we've got the Curry Powell mod in here, we're going to light it up and going to see how much of a difference it has made to this model. The only way we're going to be able to appreciate this model is going to be with the lights off. So let's go and switch them off real quick. Hopefully we can see the difference in everything that we've done. So we've got the little red light on in the side and then we're going to press all on see it all lit up. Look at that. So insane. So that's the front. Like that. So you can see everything's lit up there. 
you can see the glow on the front there is like so different so much so much cooler what we'll do is we'll take it to the side so you can see it from this side view so there you go look at the glow on that absolutely brilliant so they're the el mod so if you ever doubting whether to go get that don't just go get it because it's absolutely insane and it's just perfect uh, we'll just bring it around so you can see it from the back just quickly go around this side the thing is this is plugged in but because the cable spins around underneath uh, you can't really tell so it's really really good so there you go that's what it looks like from the back end but isn't that insanely cool we're we'll spinning around one more time oh yeah so I'll show you the lights there quickly so if we lift this up there's a light here as you can see on my hand on the door there there, there it is Look at that isn't that cool right so we need to check the other door let's lift that up and make sure that that door is also lit up so as you can see the light there is working fine there's also a little orange light on the front so we turn around this way this model is just incredibly cool absolutely incredibly cool but there you go guys so i really hope you enjoyed this i'm just going to quickly turn it on while the lights are on it just looks absolutely fantastic Let's get the lights back on real quick. It's really hard to appreciate it in without it being in real life. But what we've done here is we have installed the EL mod and we have put the DeLorean back together. So we've kind of like hit two birds with one stone. So we've shown you how to put the model back together and how to install the EL wire. So there you go, guys. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.